We now know what caused the death of singer Whitney Houston. She was, of course, found dead in a hotel bathtub last month. On Thursday, coroner's officials said she drowned accidentally. Houston also had at least five different drugs in her system and also, we've learned, had heart disease. Medical correspondent John Lepouk is here with a closer look. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I think we know that she had drowning, and they're saying she had atherosclerosis, which means that she had some clogging of the arteries, some narrowing, and that she also had cocaine. The question is, how did they all combine to kill her? I think that the fascinating thing here is that somebody can have absolutely perfectly normal heart. She didn't, but a perfectly normal heart, and have cocaine, and it can kill them by causing spasm and increased clotting. And there's an amazing stat that I learned last night that just blew me away. If you take cocaine, the odds in the next 60 minutes of you having a heart attack go up 24 times, 2,400 mm. percent. Wow. And so what about the water in her lungs and that kind of thing that would indicate drowning? Well, you know, one of the things, there's no camera there, so we don't know exactly what happened. And these pathologists, I don't really envy them, have to try to piece together this story. So you get water in your lungs if you're breathing. So how did she get water in her lungs? Well, she either had a heart attack and slipped into the water and she still had a few breaths and, and in they came, or she blacked out, maybe she was unconscious because of a combination of, of the cocaine and these other medications, which they're saying did not contribute. Well, that's to what I wanted to ask you about. And among those other medications, Xanax, which we've talked about recently <clears throat> on this program, Benadryl, something called uh, Flexeril, Flexeril. And they said specifically these other drugs did not contribute to her death. Yeah. How do you know, I mean, a as a pathologist, you're the coroner, you're looking at it, that they didn't play any role? I spoke to one of the assistants uh, in the coroner's office last night who was part of this investigation. I specifically asked that question. You have Flexeril, which is a muscle. Uh, it, it relaxes your muscles. Mm -hmm. Xanax, which is anti-anxiety. You have, you have Benadryl, which is an antihistamine. Each one of these can kind of space you out a little bit. And then all together, they can have an effect. Now, he specifically said, and this is a new information that he told me last night, that the levels of those were either therapeutic or subtherapeutic. But then I said to him, okay, fine, they're therapeutic, but then in combination, can't they have an additive effect? He said, well, we're going to have to wait two weeks to see what the final report shows about that. So maybe it's not 100% that they didn't contribute. Well, they're saying they didn't contribute. We, okay. and, we, and, we, and the last thing they need is some doctor 3,000 miles away okay. second guessing them. <laughs> Or some, some idiot who has no medical degree <laughs> questioning it, but I'm just trying to put together the no, words there to fully understand No, I it. think there are, there are some questions about it. But I think the takeaway yeah. for everybody at home, really, because you might say, well, I'm just going to try cocaine. You know what? The first time you take cocaine, you could drop dead, even though you had a perfectly normal heart. These are probably the questions that the, coroner were, the coroners were asking themselves as mm -hmm. they conducted the forensic. And we're going to have to find out, by the way, in two weeks, did she actually have a heart attack? And we'll know that. Oh, one last thing he told me, only a 60% narrowing of one of the heart arteries. Now, you may think that's a lot, but I spoke to a cardiologist last night. That shouldn't be enough to give you a heart attack. So it could have been that, plus the cocaine causing spasm, increased clotting, maybe something else going on. So, so still a bunch of questions. So more to come. John, thank you.